Hey everybody, this is Lauren from Leatherati, and we're here with Andy Cross, the new International Mr. Leather for 2013 IML 35. How are you, Andy? I'm great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, take a deep breath and then dive into it, huh? Exactly, exactly. Well, congratulations. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, you looked great on stage last night. Thank you. Yeah, Thank so you. tell us a little bit about your journey to get here. You were Mr. San Francisco Leather. I, well, yes, I, I still am. Mr. You still, still are, yeah. Mr. Yeah. San Francisco Leather. Um, but no, I moved to San Francisco about 10 years ago and kind of quickly went into the, the, the leather scene there. And, and I have to say, I, I guess I'm kind of spoiled. I think San Francisco has the best le leather scene of all because it's so varied. Um, I met a lot of really great people that, that put me on a pretty awesome track. Yeah, it's an amazing community there. I, fantastic. Yeah. Hopefully. They've also done Bear Chest Calendar for the AIDS Emergency Fund. Yes. Yes. And you do a lot of other a lot of other organization charity work as well. Correct. Yeah. Um, I was on the 2012 Bear Chest Calendar for AIDS Emergency Fund. Um, I've also done work for Bay Area Leather Alliance, um, Leather Men's Discussion Group, uh, a, a bunch of other things. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's been the most surprising thing about this weekend for you? Honestly, when you when you come in during orientation, they tell you that. At the end of the weekend, you're going to feel completely different. And quite honestly, I was sitting there going, "Like, yeah, right." Um, but it's completely true. Even even if I didn't win, I would have come out of here knowing more about myself, have more confidence. Just just the fact that I was here, um, it, it it really sunk in at the end. And like I said, even even if the outcome was different, I would have been changed. Right. Now everyone's. It's hard being on stage. It's a tough road. <laughs> What's the hardest thing for you being a, being in the public eye? Um, you know, I tend to talk to people a lot, <laughs> right? And uh, sometimes you have to pull away, right? Uh, that, that's that's actually kind of kind of hard for me because I'll start talking to someone and forget that I have to be somewhere in two minutes. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's a that's a that, really that's actually usually my my problem. People are always like, "Where are you?" <laughs> so now that it's you're off the stage. Are you gonna have a little bit to relax before you leave Chicago, or is it like straight into it? Uh, I leave Chicago tomorrow, and I I have a, a day or two to, to decompress, and then they're 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 throwing a party for me in San Francisco. Of course. So so and and, and then after that, I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll see. Now, if I were to catch up with you next year, and I asked you what's the thing you're most proud of this year, what do you hope that will be? <laughs> I, I hope to be an IML that kind of, to, for, for lack of a better word, is kind of a conduit between people and, and, and places. I'd love to go to a place and find out that they want to throw a street fair and hook them up with, you know, maybe the people in San Francisco that are a Folsom street fair, or, or visit different places and kind of find out what they're thinking and what they need and maybe hook them up with another place that's thinking the same thing. Um, I don't know how much time I'll have to actually have a pet project, right. and I wouldn't want to do anything half-ass. Uh, so I think kind of just connecting people who who are working together for the same goal is probably probably a really good, really good thing. Sounds awesome. Thanks. All right. Well, you're gonna have a busy year. We're really looking forward to following you. Let us know how we can help. Thank you very much, Andy. Thank you a lot. I appreciate it. Thanks.